Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm not being super loud because I'm, well, Nicholas is turkey hunting back here somewhere. I want to take some parts off these tractors here. <laughs> um, today, I plan on get, taking a PTO out of this part Z. I was going to take it, I got a, just a rear end sitting over there, but um, the PTO shield's on there and that rear end's kind of sealed up too. And plus I'd have to bend over her <laughs> farther. So what I was thinking, I'll just take it out of this one. I could take it out of this this ZA here, but it looks like that seal might be leaking. So <laughs> we don't have to I don't want to fiddle with that too. Uh, so I think we'll take it out of this one. <clears throat> so you got oh, you guys can get right close up and into the action. Let me get all these loosened. Alright, that one that one was no problem. That one's no problem. Should be Nope. 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 I think there's one more down here. Yep. Okay. I think we'll get them. rushing out of there are you even seeing what I'm doing here sorry oh, now we got oil dripping out okay all right last one Ooh, ooh. All right. Okay, back up to the house, or back to the shop, I should say. I got that PTO out of that other tractor. Um, now I want to get this drawbar out of the way. Then we're going to drain, drain some of the oil out of the rear end. We don't have to drain it all. We just got to get below that level there. But what I was thinking, we yeah, we'll get the drawbar out of the way. It's got to come. Either I got to take the drawbar off or take them two bolts out. Yeah, there. Oh, I gotta get two more bolts too. It looks like. But anyways, get it out of the drawbar's gotta get out of the way anyway. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. I'll crawl under there right now and uh, get that out of the way. Okay. Looks like the boys, they greased all the zerts under here. Maybe that's how they were trying to get it loose. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, taking it out of the tractor was not that difficult. I want to make sure you can see. You're not on a very good uh, surface there. Okay. This is not the, the factory bolt here. I can tell you that much little pin I mean the safety pin which isn't which isn't all that crucial oh, Nicholas where are you give me a hammer <laughs> wow definitely need some Lubashevsky there all right push this this way I tell you what, that drawbar is heavy. No doubt about that. All right. Oh, this makes me nervous. I don't know. That plug is pretty crusty. I don't know, maybe I should just take my chances and uh, pop this bolt out and let it drip out of that bolt. Let's, we're gonna try that. Okay, I'm about ready to pull that drawbar out. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned in a previous video, but this tractor is missing the toolbox. They, uh, they slide right in here and they, yep, 
Uh, a lot of times, you know, water gets down in through the through the platform here and sits in there, and they all get rotted out, anyways. But, well, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, let's see if I. Can. I might need two hands for this. Well, it slid back that far, but not going back any farther. I don't know if I can push that down anymore or not. Okay. That's quite a chunk of iron there. I'm missing a roller here. And the one that's on it feels like that little bushing in there is no longer with us anyways. But okay. Oh, I see I got some dirt in my container there. So I'm gonna clean that out. But I think we'll pull that bottom off bottom bolt out there that'll act like a you know drain for us there that'll work okay okay is there any oil in there hello <laughs> there should be oil coming out of there i would think well let's do the next one She could be low on oil too. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, there's some oil. Okay. All right. Got my container and down there. Yeah, that's kind of. Let's see what she smells like here. It's gear lube esque, but yeah, I think maybe be a, a really good time to change this soil. So I was gonna try to reuse it all, but no, no, no. I don't think that's be a good idea. Okay, let's take out another one. comes not super fast yeah, one more this is that plate I was talking about people like to like to paint that up and hang it around the wall I don't know, I might let it drip out overnight. Can we start it back on this tomorrow? It's getting late in the day today anyways, but. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, all right, well, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, well, it's the next day. Um, Oil is all, well, let's say all drained out, but it's drained out of here. Yeah, good. <laughs> I put it in a little, a little uh, pan there, so if it filled up and uh, overflowed, it would go in there. But apparently I didn't need it. Um, so I decided we are not, I repeat, not going to reuse that oil. Uh, yeah. But man, you can see how muggy it is. That metal is sweating. I don't know if you can is that picking it up on there. How shiny that is. It's not that metallic of a uh, um, uh, come on paint. That's not the word I wanted to use, but that's the word that got used. Okay. 
Alright. Gotta set you somewhere to pull that plate off. <coughs> nope, I didn't. <laughs> Alright. Yummy oil. Looks like my gasket stayed on there and stayed intact. So that's good. I did see somewhere where uh, you can buy those new, it's actually a KT number, which that goes back to the early days, like Twin City tractor days, is what that goes back to. So. Well, while that's draining off, which is just about done, I would think. Oh, she's getting a little dark out here all of a sudden. Oh, there's a chance of bad weather today. Kind of a, one of them pop-up super, super cell thingies. So, hopefully that... We don't get nothing too crazy around here. So, all right. I'm really surprised that more, more than that didn't drain out of there already. But, okay. Yeah. All right, well, you can see in there Maybe now you can. <laughs> there's a reflection. <laughs> Looks like there's two shafts in there, but there's only one. There's a reflection. But so this uh, this shaft here. Here, let me grab it. <sighs> Spline there, like the PTO shaft is. You know, like a 540. <clears throat> so that's way up there, and this will go in there, and that's what drives it. So. And like I said before, this tractor doesn't have live power, so if that clutch is engaged, that is moving. Um, you can then dis disengage the PTO output side here by this lever right here. So, but we'll wait a little bit here for that to drain out some more. In the meantime, I did go get some more parts. <clears throat> Got my Wix filters for it. 511, 89 times two. And I bought some more spark plug wire so I can make uh, appropriate size spark plugs there. There's my new cap. So I think that's what, that's what we'll do right now. Um, oh, I did get a muffler clamp, but we won't need that for a couple more minutes. Well, let's change out the cap. Real quick, DR413 in the uh, standard version here. Okay. Yeah, even this thing's sweating all over the place here. Muggy, muggy, muggy. Okay. Here. All right, so that one goes there.
Okay, this other one. I think we'll keep this cap. Just it, it, that one does have a little wear to it, but we'll keep the cap for uh, safekeeping, I guess, <laughs> in case we need it for something else. <clears throat> Okay, that's better. Got all, all the same type of wires on there and n none of them are used. All brand new ski. So, all right, let's go back and check on, ooh, excuse me, salad I had for lunch. Check on the oil situation. Still dripping, looks like. <sighs> Okay, still dripping. Got to be getting close to being done, though. Okay, after much sweating, grunting, and other noises, I still don't have that PTO in there. And I figured out why. The outside PTO unit is the same. So, and I should have done this in the first place, but I learned something. Now you're going to learn something. <laughs> the ZA input shaft or uh, runs off the counter shaft that's what drives the pto on the za is uh i think the um oh shoot i wrote it down part numbers like lkc or lk1 or whatever well the g6 is lkc1 or something like that so the one that's really we'll call it the brown color that's out of a ZA. The correct one, which I took out of a U carcass I have all back, is about two inches shorter. Here, we, we won't guess. We will measure, just so you know. All right, ZA, 24 and 3 16 U and bigger, 22 and 5 16 I fought and fought and fought with this tractor, or that PTO unit on here. And I couldn't get it in all the way. Like, you know, I couldn't even get a bolt started. I was like, what the heck? So, okay, I got it figured out. So the outside unit is the same. I do believe. I didn't double, you better double check that. Well, anyways, we're going to use, I think we're going to use that unit and the shorter shaft. And I think it'll go right in. And we'll all be happy, happy, happy. Maybe. But I made a mess of me in the house. I was looking for my books and I might have got grease on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know how, but I did. And the missus saw it and wasn't sure what it was. If it was grease, mud, poop, blood, I don't know. She was guessing all kinds of things. I was like, ah, I'll take care of that. Well, I was looking up my part numbers. So, okay, learn something. Don't use, you can use the shaft if you're putting it into another Z. And that, actually, there's two part numbers for the ZA, too. There was an early and late. Um, I don't remember what they were, but I looked it up on Agco Parts Books. Um, but then I looked at the U, uh, the G6. That's the same part number consistently. So, okay, let's, let's, let's get this done. It's heavy on one end, and it's this end, but ain't no good either. Okay, let's try it the other way, like I was trying before. Yep, you are in danger. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, man. Whew, that's making my arms tired. off again. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna tighten up two of them. Then we're gonna test it. out of gear. <clears throat> Turn a little bit here. There it goes. That's in gear. Whew. Okay. So I should not be able to turn this without turning the tractor. <laughs> I got it. Actually, I have it in gear. So. <clears throat> yep. Okay. I'm going to take it out of gear. Now I should be able to turn it. Holy dirty am I. Okay, all right, let's get the rest of them tightened up. Wonderful. Okay. Out of gear. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take care of this oil. I gotta waste a little drum over by the wood stove, so. I'll uh, go put that in there and I'll be right back. Okay, there she is, all done. All right, next, let's see if we can get this drawbar back to the correct position. I found some, found some used bolts in my stash. I'm trying to get you to stand up here. I don't have the, I broke my good tripod. There. I think you're gonna stand up there. Hopefully I don't have to loosen them up. Maybe I can just, maybe not. <sighs> Give me a second here. I'm in a mood that maybe I just get this anyways. <sighs> I tell you what though, that PTO, you know, I, I, I should have known, you know, look at the part numbers first, but I was sure that that would all fit in there, but you know, I made a mistake. Moving on. <laughs> That'll do. So. <clears throat> okay. A little more. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I could probably just get a floor jack. Are you in a pry bar? I bet. <clears throat> By the time I got it though, I probably already have it done. How much more? Half a hole. Yeah, if I had a punch. Nope. Okay. A little more. <clears throat> okay. That'll probably do. Okay. Threads are a little better. Hmm. At least I thought that was the correct size. Not for that. All right. Might have been the proper tool. Okay. Okay, well, that's looking a lot better. All right. Wonder why they took that out. I'll probably never know. Where'd you go? Leave it there. Okay. <laughs> I caught it before you tipped over. Oh, the dog's over here. <clears throat> Heidi, where are you going? Huh? You being good? Mm hmm. Well, if you're new to the channel, this is Heidi. She is uh, blue tick and German short hair. Don't know the ratios. I assume half and half, but I don't know. She's a pretty good dog. Except for when she's on a leash. She's right at the end of it and just, you know, chokes herself. We've tried all kinds of different leashes and harnesses and this and that. And <sighs> Dogs. Okay, well, next is the draw bar. I was trying to think if I have, I know, because that part 7050 back, there is no draw bar on it. <sighs> do, 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 do. That'll work with the one roller to keep it in place, but it, you know, it isn't functional. You know, and I can find a new roller or another roller in bushing or the whole bracket. I think I have one around here somewhere in my organized chaos here. I just don't know where yeah, at the moment. A lot of times I know right where about where stuff is within 1,200 square feet. <laughs> ah, anyways, yeah, I know it's a mess. We need to get her cleaned out. It's getting to that time of year to, that that's time to do it. So, okay. Well, I was thinking that I dropped the oil out of the engine of this. Then uh, while that's you know dripping out, that we'd uh, put the drawbar on. What do you think of that? So, okay, we're gonna need. Mr. Light, Ooh, that's got quite a magnet on there, just so you know. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we'll move you back, Mr. Muffler. Yeah, everything's Mr. So, okay, I'll get her, get my pan and crawl under there, bring you back. Okay, trying to get you in a spot that's got the least amount of glare from the light. Whew. All right. 
there may be a little bit of water in here coolant because uh, when I pulled them bolts out of the head the whole thing come out and you know sometimes there's cool around them heads so if there's a little bit of water comes out of here that'll be why that and it could have you know sat outside for a little while I know there's oil in there is it plugged right there mm. yep you feel some crap in there Ugh. there's oil there wasn't much water in there at all yeah okay yeah there's uh, some crud in there but that's where it's supposed to catch anyway so okay we'll let that drain out and we'll go back to the um drawbar but first i have a message from somebody so <clears throat> Grant, it's it's you from Canada that's messaging me right now. I just thought I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Sometimes people like to hear their own name on the on the TV, the internet, or whatever. But he sent me something and I couldn't read it. I don't know if I'm not a member of that Facebook group or something or other, but. Whew. Okay. I don't know if I should turn my Wi Fi on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I did see that. It says, Good morning, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about Moline's here? I'll, I'll show y'all. You can read that. Let me get right up close. They're both. Have Moline's on their shirt. Yeah, my kind of my kind of people. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I know I, I've seen that. I just don't know why I uh, wasn't able to open that grant. And I'm sure I remember that that Moline page. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, back to work. Okay. Ugh. Looks like it's just about done, anyways. So, okay. And uh, for the most part, you know, I put 1540 and everything around here. Um, it's just a, uh, you know, it's a higher higher quality oil. Anyways, most of the time, most of the time. So, uh, okay, let's. Oh boy, I gotta grab that heavy duty doggone drawbar. Okay. I'm gonna set you up right there. I don't know if you can see or not, but I definitely need two hands to grab this drawbar. Okay, can you see? All right. Yep, you can see everything you need to see. All right. So, like I said earlier, this draw bar goes underneath this cradle. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully I don't pinch my fingers or grow a, a third thing in my lower unit. Yeah, okay, good there. All right, I'm just gonna set that there for now. Now I'm gonna crawl back under there. Let's see, yep, yeah, that's there. Where's the little nut that was with that? That'll be the next thing. Hello. Okay. It's probably under there. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave you right here. I found the nut. 
Looks like I gotta go back a little bit. Hopefully I don't knock, knock that roller off. Okay. All right, I come back. Jack. Okay, drawbar's in. Let's put oil back in this tractor. First, though, got to put the plug back in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fix my cursor wrench already. This one's made in the USA. All right. I'll just make sure it's all out. Yep. Ugh. Okay, let's try that again. talking possible <clears throat> storms again because that humidity okay. <clears throat> all right well I'm gonna set you somewhere else here all I know is you were getting oily and I don't like that okay now we'll take these filters off next we got a filter wrench okay Oop. Righty tighty left it loose here, right? Does that go bigger? I think so. Oh yeah. Okay, let's try this. <coughs> Alright, that one's loose. <coughs> that one seems to be loose. Okay, gasket stayed with it. <clears throat> gasket stayed with this one too. Okay. Oh yeah, Wix 51189. <clears throat> In case I didn't already tell you that. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're plating rock just a little bit. Nothing crazy. <clears throat> Okay, time to put oil in it. Okay, on these big big bell motors, here's where you put the oil in. 
guess we don't need the light down there anymore. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna go grab some oil, and you stay here. Okay, book says it holds 15 quarts, including the oil filters. I got a jug underneath the lean, or I got a couple uh, barrels oil out there I got, uh, I acquired recently. So this jug's a gallon, which is four quarts, for you that don't know. <laughs> uh, so I fill this up. Not quite four times. Should be good. So all right. Well, I won't bore you all four times, so you've got the general idea. Okay, engine oil is all in and good. Um, I still need to put rear end oil in, um, but I'm going to wait for Nicholas. Uh, the level plug is right there. If you can see it there behind the belt pulley area. Um, and you put it in through the top of the transmission case. There's three little bolts that you pull out right there and you put your oil in. I'm just thinking that uh, try to save on some mess that uh, two people, one guy putting it in and one guy watching the plug. So, and then I need to do that. Put the hood on, put the muffler on. Um, I got to tighten up that U-bolt there and find another roller uh, for the draw bar. Need seat cushions, which I think I'm gonna wait till the summer. Um, now it looks like there's a real good chance that I am going in August to Wisconsin to the summer Minneapolis Moline show. Uh, there's a good chance. So I'm gonna plan on that. That's early in August. And then the next weekend or two after that will be a couple of the two biggest shows in Michigan. Um, the Mid Michigan Old Gas Tractor Association show and the um, Oh, it's up to Buckley. I, there's a, some long words or uh, name for that one too. So, okay. Well, I think that's plenty for this video. Uh, there's a lot that I got to edit out because of downtime and running around this and that. But that's just how it is. Um, another thing I got to do yet too. I want to check the oil in their air filter there, the oil bath air filter. <clears throat> Make sure that's all fine and dandy. Um, I'm gonna double check to see if the lights work. Somebody said they were on. Well, I hope so. That'd be, that would be cool, but um, well, let's look here. Where's the wire that goes up to them? Right here. I doubt they were on. Must have been a reflection off of something else. So, But I'm pretty sure it's this one here, though, that goes to them. So, maybe that works. I don't know. We better unplug that anyways. That's a bare wire right there. So, okay. Well, we'll tackle that later. That's not a, as high as importance to me. And also, we got to put some gas in it. Like, oh, I got to finish the brake there, too, where that guy took out those bolts and finished that. But that's for another video. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go get some supper, try to clean up a little bit, and not make a mess in the house so, so the missus doesn't yell at me. Um, but anyways, I appreciate everybody watching. Yeah, look forward to the next one. Um, I'm debating on what to try to bring in next. Kind of want to bring in that Farmall A uh, and get that running and get that process started. I've got a plan for that tractor. Um, that's I think is pretty cool. And then uh, I don't know. I want to hear that ZTU run. I want to hear that four star run. I need to get that five star. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep the five star. The four star I plan on keeping. Um, but the I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the five star like i said or you know in previous videos that's uh of all those tractors i brought home that's the only one that loaded itself on the trailer but it did not run well so um, if i yeah the one one uh tap of color cover is off um it was not running on all cylinders but it could have been a spark plug or wire off or whatever i didn't look into it this was ready to get them on the trailer so oh i gotta order them brakes brake springs too <sighs> always something huh, for here but yeah all right yeah she's coming along doing a little maintenance and fixing things and making it a, a little more handier so all right well that's enough babbling we'll see you in the next one